This just in breaking news. Sony has just announced the new a7 III just on the heels of the new X-H1. Semi-reliable sources are saying that it's two times better image quality. Physics dictate that since the sensor is two times larger, that means that it's two times better image quality. Wait, who wrote this crap? Did you write this? Yeah, this is, this is, this is fake news. Uh, I'm going to my trailer. What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and what you just saw was edited in the iPad using a green screen and a lot of you guys have been asking me for some more tutorials in LumaFusion and LumaFusion has been updated, I guess it was like a couple months ago, I'm just slow to everything, but they added an update which allows you to do chroma key, green screening, inside of LumaFusion now, but it can handle 4K chroma key which is crazy, so we're gonna open up LumaFusion so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is import some of our footage. So if you've watched some of my other LumaFusion videos, I kind of showed how you can actually import with the SD card. I actually shot all of that stuff with my iPhone and when I think about it, I could have shot it with the iPad Pro. It does have a really good 4K camera in it, similar to the iPhone 7. I think it is the iPhone 7 camera, but I shot it with my iPhone 10 just cause I wasn't thinking and I used Pro Movie. It's an app, not a sponsored video. None of this stuff is sponsored. It's just some of the apps that I use, but it actually can shoot up to 150 megabits per second 4K and that's the main reason why I used it. But you can actually do that with the iPad Pro as well. But anyway, I got the footage imported. I got some graphics on here that I've got up in my Google Drive folder. So we're gonna bring those in. Some of the graphics I found, some of them I kind of edited and modified for my own. And then I found an audio track off of audiojungle.net and I just kind of imported that. I just looked at like breaking news audio tracks and that's what I use. So we're gonna go into our folder here, go to photos, albums, and recently added. I'm just gonna add this in here because this is our green screen footage. Yeah. So we're gonna import that. Just click on it, drag it down into the timeline. Who's casting and we're gonna cut kind of where I first one. sat down. Okay, so I said newscasting in your underwear because I wasn't wearing pants for this, just because this whole video is hilarious. So I turn into the shot here. So we'll probably start on that. So just click and drag. I'm not gonna do too much editing in this. You'll kind of see how I'm working on stuff. Mainly what I wanna go through is how to actually key out the background and put in your own image. So I'm gonna import some stuff from Google Drive. So I'm gonna to go to Import Media, iPad Graphics. So all the stuff I wanna import, this is all the images that I'm gonna use. So I got back JPEG I wanna import. I'm just gonna select everything because all of the stuff I actually need. So we're gonna import that. I'm not really gonna go through how to make graphics because I did a lot of it in Photoshop, but you can go out and find your own graphics. There's a lot of different like news templates and stuff out there that you can use. So I found some of my own stuff and just modified it. Okay, so once all your graphics are imported, you can see them up here in your folder here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this green screen up to the next layer because what we're gonna do is key out the green. And once the green's keyed out, anything that's underneath it will actually show through. So if we want this backdrop, select the backdrop, drag it down in the timeline, then we're gonna extend it out. So it's the length of the video basically. And here's the main gist of the video. We're gonna keep it super simple. This is how you key out a green screen. So you double click on it. Then you're gonna go to the effects tab here. And then you'll see a little key in the top right corner. And then we click on green screen key. Now there's different green screens. So you got blue screen. There's different settings that you can use, but we're gonna use green screen. It kind of shows you right off the bat how it's gonna actually look. And we gotta make some major adjustments because clearly I'm just a face and hands and I look hilarious right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the brightness down a bit, but as you can see, it's not properly keying out how I look. There's still some stuff that's not perfect. You can see around my hair. This isn't too bad actually. But if you're finding that it's not matching your green screen, you can actually click on the key color and then change how that looks. So if we go back here, we can actually adjust it. It's a little bit too neon for what the actual background look like. That looks pretty close right there. So we can bring our brightness range back up and go till it starts to break because you want to get as much of it as you can in there. So that's not too bad. If we play that back. It's just announced the new a7 III just on the heels of the new X-H1. So that actually doesn't look too bad. There's kind of a bit of a green cast on my skin. We'll fix that later with color correction. Now that we've got our main thing keyed in here, I actually have 
a desk that I want to put in. So I have a separate layer that's a PNG. And since we're allowed to have three layers in LumaFusion, we can actually add other things. So I have a desk, I called it desk here, and it's just a PNG file. And I'm gonna put that over top so that it actually looks like I'm sitting behind the desk. And the cool thing is, once you've got yourself keyed out of the shot, you can actually go in here and move yourself around. So you can move yourself up a little higher or down, depending on where you wanna move it. Another thing we can also do is crop in the sides. So say you didn't have it perfectly lit on your sides and you can't seem to get rid of that. What you can actually do is go in, crop that like left and right, and then the top, and then anything that's outside of those borders doesn't show. So since you're green screening yourself anyway, it doesn't really matter. So what I'm gonna do is lift myself up a little bit. You can actually make yourself smaller or bigger in the frame, depending on how you want the frame to look. So I could actually make myself smaller if I wanted to, like that big or that big, depending on what I wanna do. So I kinda like how that looks. I just wanna make sure that I'm behind the desk. So I'm currently a little bit higher than the desk. So I'm gonna go back in. You're not seeing the desk because it's the layer above the layer that you're actually working on. So when you come in here to adjust the size and placement, you're not really gonna see it. So I'm gonna lower myself down to about here. That's starting to look pretty natural at the desk. Since I went that way, I gotta come in from this way. This just in breaking news. Sony has just announced- I find this so crazy guys that we're doing this in 4K on an iPad shot with an iPhone. This is like stuff that I would have dreamed of having back when I was a kid. Okay, so once we get that set up, I actually did a thing where I changed camera angles. Well, I made it seem like I changed camera angles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this and add in a completely new background. So I'm gonna move the timeline up to where I turn away from the shot. Cause I wanna make it look like I turned to a new camera. Okay, so I turn right there. We're gonna cut this right across the board here. I'm taking out this background now, cause I don't want this one. And I'm gonna put in my new background which I called side, drag that into the timeline. I also green screened a TV and I'll show you kind of what we can do with that as well. So now when I change camera angles here, so I'm gonna turn right here, cut. So we're gonna cut this. And at that point, what I did was I actually had to turn into the shot. You're actually seeing some of the green screen in here. What we wanna do is we're gonna crop some of that out. So that annoying stuff isn't in there. And now I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger in here. So we want it to look like I actually changed to a new camera, even though I was still in the same shot. It's got to start right on the turn. So right about there. So now it should look like I turned to a new camera. Physics dictate. Okay, so it's a little bit too dramatic. I need to make it cut a little bit sooner. So we're gonna zoom in here with two fingers. Move this down a little bit. I'm gonna have to cut the background a little bit sooner. Physics dictate that's a. So it looks like I actually changed camera angles there. Image quality. Physics dictate that's. So I made up some graphics that I actually want to display on the TV, and since it's green screen, we can also key stuff out and put that in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these two layers up. The only problem is at this stage, I can't put another desk in because there's actually only three clips. So I'm just gonna have to leave it like this, but I do wanna put these breaking news screens in here. So these ones here, and I'm gonna put them in under this. So I'm gonna click and drop that clip into here. I'm gonna drag it out and it's gonna be underneath this scene. So what we wanna do is we wanna actually green screen out this scene as well. And we're gonna go to the key and then green screen key and you'll see that it actually loads into here now. So that should be pretty good there setting that up. We will scale this down a little bit because it's a little bit too big for the scene. So what I need to actually do is click on this, double click it. What I need to do is scale this down. You can actually see the image behind it. So what we wanna do is just make it kind of fit over this TV here. Should be pretty good. So that's basically how to do chroma key green screening in the LumaFusion. I'm gonna add some music into this now and then kind of show you how that works too. So I got this breaking news music. It was just some royalty free music that I found. So I'm gonna stick that on the timeline and the audio levels will have to come down because my talking over top of it isn't gonna be loud enough. 
So we'll bring the volume down to like negative 25 or something like that. And then we should have a good mix here. Just in breaking news. Sony has just announced the new a7 III just on the heels of the new X-H1. Semi-reliable sources are saying that it's two times better image. Now the green screening isn't perfect, but that's basically how you do it in LumaFusion. There isn't a lot of options for like adjusting the edges and stuff like that. In like something like Premiere, you can actually adjust the choke and kind of soften the edges up and stuff like that. I don't know if they're gonna add that in future updates, but right now this is as good as it gets and it's pretty decent. But if you're using a good camera like the C200, I feel that the keying would be a lot better. But I use my iPhone and if that's all you have or even just the iPad, you can get results similar to this. So I wanna show you what it's like to color correct this so that you get a really nice color to match the actual background. So we're gonna double click on this, go to our effects tab here. We're gonna go into some color grading options here. Uh, we can go to vibrance, I guess, and then we can play with some of these settings. So I want to pull the contrast back a bit, but we want to add some warmth. So I'm going to bring this more towards the yellow tones. And just kind of get rid of some of that green so that it feels a little bit more like I was actually filming in a studio with this behind me and not a green screen. And we can boost the brightness up a little bit and some more contrast. We don't want to go too far because it is an iPhone and the image actually breaks apart a little bit faster than something shot with like a really nice camera. So that's starting to look pretty good. I don't look as green now. If we actually go back and look at the original shot, you can see that I look kind of pasty. This gives me a little bit more color. Two times larger, that means that it's two times better image quality. If you want me to make more LumaFusion tutorials, I can do that. I just thought that I would give this a shot and I was actually pretty impressed again with how this iPad handles video. Again, this is all 4K video, green screening on the fly. It's actually pretty crazy how powerful this is. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. I'll see you in the next one.